Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to connect a NeoPixel strip having 20 NeoPixels with Arduino. So let us begin. So for this, we need one NeoPixel strip having 20 NeoPixels, one Arduino Uno, and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect this NeoPixel strip having 20 NeoPixels with Arduino. So first of all, we will connect this in pin of it th that is used for the input purpose to this 6 number pin of the Arduino. After it, we will connect this power pin of it to this 5 volt power supply of the Arduino and ground pin of it to this GND pin of the Arduino. So in this way, our new pixel strip is connected to the Arduino. Now let us see our code. So this is our code. Over here, first of all, we have used one new pixel library. After it, we have used two variables. First is the pin. We have initialized it to 6. 6 is the pin number of the Arduino to which this new pixel strip is connected to it. And this t pixel variable represents the total number of pixels in the strip that is equal to 20 and hence we have initialized it with 20. After it we have used the strip function in which we have used three parameters. First is the total number of pixels in the strip that is 20. After it pin which is 6 over here and this new grb represents a green red and blue color code and this new kh set 800 represents the 800 kilohertz of frequency of this new pixel strip now in this void setup function we are beginning the strip and this and in this void loop function we have used three variables and this random function will generate a random number between 0 to 2 double 5 after it we are using a for loop which will run from 0 to 19 and this r++ plus plus means r will be incremented by 1 and this set pixel color will set the pixel color using this function and this dot show will show the color of this and this is the delay function that takes the time in milliseconds over here we have used 20 milliseconds now let us see how exactly it will look, it will look like so for a time clicking on start simulation as you can see over here, the color codes are changing. This is due to the random function that we have used. So in this way, it will look like. Thank you.